Well, welcome back, everyone. We've seen it in the papers. We've watched it on the news. The words store closing, which means those pharmacies, those big pharmacies. So what do we do next? Well, we've invited uh, Karen Keir. She's the professor of pharmacy at ONU. And we have big questions on this one, Karen. Yeah. Yeah, this is a concern, I guess, for many. It's a very big concern yeah. because a lot of pharmacies have been closing. Um, uh, Rite Aid just announced a number of closings in Ohio and Michigan with mm -hmm. plans to potentially close more. And it's it can really hurt some communities in terms of what do you do about your prescriptions? Who owns that prescription? You as the consumer, where can you go? What are your rights in terms of transferring your medications and getting being able to get your medications? Yeah, so do... Do you have any helpful hints on that? Because that's, you know, that's a really big thing. If you have a pharmacy and that's a pharmacy that's the only pharmacy, let's say, in your town or city or, well, usually town, yeah. you know, and then you think, well, now I'm going to have to go to maybe the next town over, but do they have my prescriptions? Do they take my insurance? Do they... Ah. Yeah, those are all fabulous questions. So when a doctor prescribes or a nurse practitioner prescribes, a veterinary prescribes, you own that prescription until it's filled at a pharmacy. They actually own that prescription then. Oh. And so when um, a store is closing, they sell the prescriptions to another pharmacy. So they sell them. But that just because they sell it to that pharmacy doesn't mean you have to go to that pharmacy. You may ask and request that prescriptions get transferred to a pharmacy that you want it to go to. Yeah. So that could be one that's closer to you, more local to you. It could be one that would deliver to you. Oh, yeah. I didn't even think about yeah, that. Yeah, but ones. insurance, your point on insurance is fabulous because that is exactly the point. Uh, you want to call those pharmacies, make sure they cover your insurance. Um, but and you, when you go to transfer, you could like call our pharmacy, we would call the other pharmacy and transfer it, or you could request that they call and transfer. So you have options um, just because they've said they're going to be at this particular location. But if you have time before a store closes, you can ask that store to transfer it before it's sold to another pharmacy. Okay. You know, thinking about this, you know, a lot of those small town mom and pop pharmacies did close because the big boys came in, mm -hmm. you know, the Rite Aids, the Walgreens and, and such. And, and now that some are closing, maybe that'll be a good thing for those small town pharmacies again, you know? It, they can be if they're still in business. Yeah. You know, the number of uh, pharmacies are closing, but there are independent um, kind of mom and pop, like yeah. you talked about, pharmacies that are still out there. Many of them will have specialized services. Many of them will deliver for you. They'll check on insurance pricing. They'll find some yeah. couponing and things like for, as well to help affordability. Yeah, I guess the key is finding what's close and convenient for you. You know, I know that my insurance, you know, they said, well, we can send it over to this place. But I said, no, I want it in Spencerville. I got, right. We got a mom and pop pharmacy in Spencerville. Yes. I was like, no, this is better for me. It's more convenient. I can just pop right over there. And, you know, a little friendly service of mom and pop right. services. I like it. So. Yeah, and you have that right to do that. Just yeah. talk to your pharmacist and make sure they transfer yeah. where you want it to go. So it will be a little scary, I guess, for some, but maybe it won't be that bad. Yeah, I think just finding your home making sure that prescription is going to where you want it to go and yeah. where you feel most comfortable. Yeah, well, Karen, I thank you for coming in today, answering those questions, and there'll be more questions to be had, I'm sure. I'm sure. All right, <laughs> well, don't go away, because Noon Edition returns in a minute.